Hey guys, it's Jonah here once again, and I've got something a little bit different for you this time around. Um, something different's happened, and I've noticed that in the old local supermarket, we have got Badger Beer, Thirsty Ferret, it's in cans. Um, we're looking at 500 cans, so it's a 500 bottle, so no change there. Uh, ABB 4.5, um, we're going to see this is any different. Now Thirsty Ferret I believe is um, Badger's top selling beer in the bottles and believe it or not it was started or the Badger version was started um, in 2003 as a seasonal ale and they did something a bit sneaky they actually um, got a recipe not from Dorset but from West Sussex and um, yeah, they kind of nicked it. And they've been fiddling with it over the last few years. I, I went to Dorset uh, four years ago and had it in a cask in a pub. Uh, and I can tell you that the recipe has changed. That's assuming they do the same, uh, same version in cask that they do in bottles. So will this have changed again? We'll have to see. Now, unfortunately, I haven't... Oh, I haven't chilled it, which I usually like my beers chilled, but hey, we've done well there. I was going to drink it out of the can, but um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I will. People will kill me for doing that. So I'll, I'll put it in the old pint glass. And hopefully, it should get in there in a water. Oh, which it has. Now, have a look at that. That's pretty good for a can, don't you think? Quite a good logo. And it's got, on the side, it's got that, I don't know if you guys can see, it's got this little sort of tasting note thing, which says it's tawny, light golden, um, spicy hops, orangey, and the taste is malty, sweet, bitter. Hey, I'll be the judge of that. Well, amber, yeah, they've got it spot on there. Look at that, nicely carbonated. You can see me through there. <laughs> nicely carbonated with half finger head, maybe. Um, and if I put that into um, the fridge to chill out, might lose a bit of head. Um, but yeah, that would be lovely, lovely beer. Um, having it slightly warmer, obviously I haven't got the usual um, frosting on there, the chill. Look at that, that's really clear, man. Let's go for a nose. Yeah, they've got that sweetness that they talk about. Um, and I'd say like a marmalade kind of um, nose. Getting a bit of the hoppiness. Spice. Maybe a touch. But no, the, the main... The main uh, the main nose is sweetness and sort of, you know, that orangey kind of kind of taste. Hey, and it's an orange colour, kind of. In fact, if you gave that to a, a little one and said that were some iron brew there, you'd probably get them to drink beer. Not that I'm suggesting you do that, of course. Anyway, bottoms up, binky out, thumbs up, all that shit. <laughs> Yeah, this one's all about all about the uh, the malts. It's got a little hot bitterness, but it's not pronounced. What you're tasting is the sweetness. Yeah, the sweetness of the malts. Actually, you are getting a bit of hops in the finish, so it's not very bitter, and uh, you can't really detect much or many aroma hops. I'd say. Um, this is all about the upfront kind of drinking. Not at all bad. 
Now, you can get four cans of this at the moment. Four candles, four cans for four pounds. So that is one pound a can. We're getting very, very close to the pound a pint, which I can remember from my distant youth. Um, and I know in the last few years, we've definitely been getting away from that. Um, and I've been in places and the pints are like four quid. Four pounds for one pint in a pub? No wonder the pubs are closing down. Expensive beers. And in the supermarket, you can get four. 4.4 on the ABV. So you're never really going to get totally langered on this. But uh, it's not a totally light beer. A um, little bit too carbonated for my liking. Um, you're getting a bit of that kind of carbonation burn you know, going on in your in your mouth. Mmm, <sighs> bit of a sweetness on the old belch as well. Which is always good. Beer tasting, you have to belch, you know. It's the law. That is a very sessionable pint. Very, very nice. Not sure why they released it in cans at the end of the year instead of in the summertime. Um, hey, maybe they were slightly delayed um, in releasing this one. But, yeah, it's genius. It's an experiment. The uh, Hall and Woodhouse, who, who essentially own the, uh, the rights, um, say it's an experiment from the Badger Brewery um, to see if their most popular beer in bottles will translate to cans. We shall see. Um, what I'm interested in is, is this the same recipe in the cans that it was in the bottles? Mmm, if I was brave I might do a um, a side-by-side -side tasting. Um, hey, maybe that's for the future. Till then guys, it's been Jonah here giving you another beer review and my feelings on beer in general. Take care, we'll see you soon. A little second thought there for the Badger. I wanted to get this review out because um, the government have been culling Badgers and they haven't fucking done anything. Apparently they spread disease or so fucking to foxes and they stop fox hunting. What the fuck are you doing, government? You're complete insanity. So anyway, at least they've stopped the Badger cull for the moment. Come on, guys. What you're doing ain't right. Save the countryside, drink some badger.